hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be doing a very 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 difficult video for me because i'm really really private and i like to keep things like this really private because i feel like it's my personal business but a lot of people oh y'all peep that muscle right here okay okay <laughs> but a lot of you guys on snapchat instagram um have been asking me like girl what are you doing what are you doing because i've been posting workout pictures and stuff like that they've been seeing results so they've been asking me like what's going on i just wanted to be physically and mentally in a state of mind where i was confident enough to come here like i did not want to come here fake like hi guys how are you and deep inside of me i was freaking depressed and i was feeling like shit and i was feeling overweight and obese and really really like disgusting you know i did not want to come here fake i want to when i come here and this is a hobby for me youtube is a hobby is not a job for me i want to come here and feel like you know a release and at that point in my life i was not feeling that so i was like you know what i'm not going for my video because i'm not about to come here and fake and act like my life is so good and i'm feeling so good reviewing hair products like i did i did not want to do that so i want to i wanted my mind to be in a right state of mind I weighed myself yesterday and now I am 192 pounds. So in total, I've lost 30 pounds. I still have another 30 pounds to go. When I get to that goal, I might be like, you know what? I can get a 150. So let me just get to that goal first. Don't put pressure on me. Please don't. Don't do that. <laughs> so when I get to that goal, you know, I'm, I'm going to, you know, work hard and get to another goal. So but my goal weight is 170 i want to look like what i look like when i was in high school yeah i said it let me give you guys a backstory about myself so you guys can more understand you know why i decided to lose weight and where i'm coming from so growing up i was i was born chubby like i was a chubby baby when i got to my adolescent um years i was more like skinny fat like my thighs were always fat like my butt was always fat but my upper body was always slim. Like I always had, you know, slimmer arms and really like slim. I had like nice belly. Like I never had belly. My belly was always flat. My parents moved from Africa to here. We all moved together. And I went to middle school. Middle school, I did not gain a pound. I wasn't even working out. I didn't even know what that was. I was 12 years old, so I did not even know what that was. So I went to high school. And in high school, I played soccer for four years. So in high school, I was really active, but I was eating crap. Like, I was eating McDonald's almost every day because the McDonald's was literally across the street from my school. And the school lunch was crap. So all I ate was McDonald's and pizza. And we had a fried chicken place subway which is not really healthy unless you're getting chicken salad and you know grilled chicken breast but yeah so i i ate crap i ate garbage in high school in high school i was around 160 pounds to 170 pounds when i graduated high school i really noticed that i've gained weight and i'm like yo i need to go to the gym i need to start going to the gym i signed up for the ymca i remember i was paying like 36 dollars a month are you crazy yeah 36 dollars a month when my dad would give me a little bit of money i would save it just to pay for my gym membership and i used to work out like i used to go like five days a week i was looking good and i lost so much weight before college that summer i was my body was you can't tell me nothing <laughs> and so i started college i went to community college for the first year so that is where i gained so much weight because i used to commute from home to my campus so i had like breaks in between classes and i would just eat crap i used to go to chipotle like every day i was dating someone that loved food too so he used to make me indulge like i used to just eat whatever i want and he will pay for it it was no problem <laughs> oh i miss i miss those days not him though but i miss those days finished that year and then i transferred to a regular university i was living on campus and most times my mom will bring food for me so i had full plan the full meal plan on campus and then my mom will bring african food for me so i was eating the american food and the african food which is horrible combination don't do it <laughs> don't do it and I used to, like, I would go eat the literally breakfast, lunch, and dinner and come back to my room and eat African food. 
Lord Jesus. Like, I used to just indulge. I did not care because at that point, my body was, you know, looking good. Like, I was okay. And guys were coming up to me all the time, and I thought I was the shit, you know? So I used to just eat whatever I want. So I moved and got my own apartment outside of campus, and I just it was just bad and at that point i got on birth control because i got on birth control because number one because i was already sexually active and i needed to protect myself another thing was i was having really irregular periods and i wanted to control that so my doctor was like look we have to put you on this birth control just to control like your period your flow the birth control made me gain 25 pounds 25 pounds and I gained 25 pounds in about six months like I was like yo like I saw my belly I was whenever I sat down now like I would literally see my belly and that have never happened I've always had a small like small frame when it comes to my midsection and I was literally seeing fupas and like I was seeing like rolls of fupa I started working out but I wasn't really eating healthy because I was always ordering fast food the mcdonald's was across the street chinese food i used to work out though and i would come and eat crap and i was on birth control so that caused my body to gain weight instead of lose weight like i was gaining weight so when i got the birth control i remember the nurse telling me to step on the scale to weigh myself and at that point i haven't weighed myself in about two years so i'm like yo let me weigh myself let me let me see what's going on with my body you know what i'm saying so um i weighed myself and I was 205 pounds. Girl, what? 200, and I was, so that means from 160 to 205 pounds, that's like 45 pounds. So I've gained 45 pounds since I graduated from high school. And I didn't even care because at that point, my body was still okay. I could still take some thought pictures. So it was okay. So I wasn't really worried about it. So at that point, I was just like, girl you're fat already i checked my bmi and i was obese already so i was like might as well just continue eating this mcdonald's like why change like who cares you know nobody's complaining about it my boyfriend ain't complaining about it but when i would come home my mom would like make comments about my body i was just like you ain't dating me so i don't care so so after that after i weighed myself in the doctor's office i realized i was already obese whatever so i started eating again i was like I guess we're fat so and I started drinking and that's another thing I started drinking alcohol alcohol made me gain so much weight so much weight like I can't even tell you I still drink though but not as much as before <laughs> like, I was not an alcoholic but I was drinking most times like my friends would come over and we would like pop bottles and like you know we, we were lit and when I would come home my friends that I had at home were also turned up people so i was surrounded with turned up people on campus and then turned up people when i come home so like the liquor was not was not escaping from my life anytime soon i moved back to my mom's house and when i moved back in january i was like yo like you know am i gonna go in the healthy route or continue my bad ways and guess what i did continue my bad ways i started eating african food now more because it's more it's like right upstairs i can go upstairs go to the kitchen and just indulge so i did not care i was just eating and i would tell my mom to cook my favorite foods like it was nice it was lit oh god it was so nice but <laughs> i would just eat whatever i want because like now my mom is spoiling me like why not i was in this pattern for like five months and i realized like yo i'm getting really really like depressed i found that my relationship with food was very unhealthy i realized that some things that i ate made me so depressed after and this shit is real like and that's one thing you have to know who you are weight loss is more it's more than just going to the gym and eating healthy it's who you are like who are you like and knowing who you are is knowing the type of foods that make you sad the types of foods that make you happy the types of food that makes you depressed the types of food that makes you excited like you need to know these things because it's very very important if you're trying to lose weight those things like they're essential for you like you need to know those things so um when i moved back home i was eating really bad 
So in May, I weighed myself and I was I was avoiding the scale so bad. I literally took the scale that I came with from campus. I put it in my mom's room right upstairs because I did not even want to look at it every day at all. Like I literally told my mom, like, you can have it. I don't want to see it. And she was laughing about it. So she was like, okay, like, I guess you're going to stay fat then. But, but she was like really confused. So one time I remember I was looking for something in my mom's room and I went in her bathroom and I saw the scale. It literally felt like that scale was talking to me. It was like, get on me, get on me. Like, duh, 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 duh. I was like, you know what? Shit, let me just get on this damn scale. So I got on the scale and I was 222 pounds. And I remember looking at the scale so depressed. Like, I actually, like, it actually hit me. Like, yo, you literally, you just gained more than, you just gained almost 20 pounds in six months like are you kidding me you're gonna continue this path because if you continue before the end of the year you're gonna be at 300 pounds now i need to make the change and at that point i was already tired of always wearing large clothes and big clothes and not wearing what i wanted like my fashion started changing it became beatrice wear whatever she want so beatrice just gonna wear something just because of comfort and i did not want to be that type of person that just wore clothes because I was uncomfortable or I was, you know, or I could not do that. You know, my whole life I was, I've been able to do whatever the hell I want to do and not have restrictions. I did not want to have restrictions. I did not want it to be limited to the things I wanted to do or the clothes I wanted to wear. I wanted to still dress like a thot. I wanted to still look like a, you know, like I, my ass was still there. I even noticed that my ass disappeared because my belly was so big at that point. It messed up my self-esteem. Like it really messed up my self-esteem. The main reason why I decided to get on this journey was I was just getting sick and tired of being sick and tired I know it sounds so cliche it sounds so weird but I got sick and tired of just being sick and tired and I kept saying that to myself even now when I'm in the gym I'm like you know what Beatrice you're tired of being sick and tired and being sick and tired is being sick and tired of having to be limited and having to you know not wear your favorite clothes and having to, you know, not go places because you're scared of, of buying new outfits or you're scared of going to the mall and trying new clothes. And I just was tired of being limited. And I wanted, I'm very, I'm a very, I'm a very free spirited person. I like doing whatever the hell I want to do and being overweight, not just being overweight, but being obese limited me from a lot of things, limited me from doing and you know things like YouTube it messed up my confidence level I was very confident when I started YouTube like I was making videos all the time because I was in the in the state of mind that I was very confident in myself the physical aspect to have a lot to do with that as well a lot of people might say you know what I don't care what I look like I'm gonna come on camera and da -da -da -da, be like hi guys no like if you feel like shit inside it's gonna come out people are gonna see that you're full of shit and I did not want to you know fake that and you know come here and be like <laughs> hi and like he went deep inside i was depressed about what i looked like and what i was and i just just i was just tired of it so you probably thinking like girl how did you start like how did you come out of that funk how did you come out of that you know that hole of feeling like shit and i just started researching and that's it i figured out the science of my body that's very important like that's very very important if you don't know the science of your body if you don't know like the mathematics with your body you cannot lose weight you how are you gonna do it how are you gonna know how many calories you need to burn how are you gonna know how many calories you need to eat like you need to know the science you need to know the math of your body you need to know your macros you need to know how many carbs protein fats you need per day for your body height and weight you need to know all those stuff and I'm gonna link like a macro calculator for you in the description box so it would like you you can calculate yours but the first things I did was calculate the mathematics 
to my body based on my body what I needed what I needed to lose what I needed to eat and how 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 hard I should go in the gym what I should start with you you have to know those mathematics in order for you to know what to do that's that number that's that has to be your number one step is figure out the mathematics to your body period and I started counting my calories I counted everything I put in my mouth and even if I had McDonald's because some days I still do have McDonald's I will put that on my app I use the lose it app some people use my fitness pal I don't really like my fitness pal I like I like lose it better because it's show me like a visual of what the foods look like so I like that I'm more of a visual person my fitness pal does that but it's not it's not as visual as I want it to be, <laughs> if, you, if you get what I'm saying. So I use Lose It. Um, I have the regular plan. They've been trying to get me to get the premium plan. I ain't doing it. It's too expensive. But I have the regular um, one, and it's free. But it's a really good app, so I'm going to link that down below as well. I just literally just shut up about it. Because all these years I've been saying, you know what, I might, I might go to the gym, I might lose weight, whatever. I just stop talking about it. I just shut up about it. And that's another thing. Don't announce that you're about to start losing weight. Because the type of African family that I have, they will crush you. Every time you pick up that fufu or cassava leaf, they'll be like... Ugh. I thought you were losing weight. Like they will, they will police everything that you do. So if you know you have a family that like that, don't tell anybody. If you have, if you know you have friends like that, don't tell them. Don't announce it. Just shut up. What I did was I just shut up about it. Went to the gym, got a membership, went to the grocery store, got foods that I like and healthy foods that I like. So I got on a diet that fit my lifestyle, something that I could stick to. Cause this was not just a quick fix. Or I'm trying to get or I'm trying to go to a wedding weight loss journey it was a life this is a lifestyle thing and I made that decision to do that like for real not just a gimmick like oh you know I'm gonna lose 20 pounds for this vacation I gained the weight and even more back I drink a gallon of water a day so I don't go a day without drinking a gallon of water as you can see my skin is glowing apart from the makeup of course but you can see my skin is glowing water is gonna make a huge difference in your life so drink a lot of water okay I lost majority of my weight by doing intermittent fasting so um, when I started my weight loss journey in May I was not really a hundred percent I was eating crap and I, I used to go to the gym like two to three times a week and I was not really serious about it it was just like oh, I'm just doing it because I don't want to die <laughs> but it was not really like you know oh my god I'm like it's a lifestyle like I did not really make that decision until like September when I came from Vegas when I saw because before I went to Vegas I lost like five pounds and I saw the pictures I was like okay like you you're you're hot that motivated me if I could look this good at 217 pounds because I, I lost five pounds before I went to Vegas so I was like if I could look this good I could definitely definitely look better if I'm like if I lose 50 pounds or something like that so I I got on it like when I came from Vegas I really really put more pressure on myself like in October from October November and now December in like two and a half months I lost 25 pounds so 25 pounds literally left this body as you can see my muscles oh, I started lifting too so yeah I'm about to be like Serena Williams for real literally stick to a low carb diet and intermittent fasting intermittent fasting is eating in a short amount of time and fasting for a longer amount of time so for example I eat from 12 12 p.m. to 8 sometimes 2 to 10 I do the 16 to 8 hours um, fasting period if you guys want me to go in in depth of about intermittent fasting let me know but basically when you're in the fasting mode your body is using stored fat as energy so that means you're losing body fat while your body's using that when I started I was not really doing it a hundred percent but now I'm doing it like a hundred percent and in like a week I've lost like six pounds I've been doing it every single day every day regardless if I'm at work or if I'm home or and regardless I don't eat after a certain period of time then I fast for 16 hours so say if I go out with my friends and I'll have like and I'll eat dinner late I just say I ate dinner like 11 o'clock I just start my fast 
there and I just count 16 hours to the next day and eat my next meal. So yeah, so it's pretty effective. Um, if you guys want me to go in depth, just let me know and I'll do that for you guys. So yeah, going to working out. So workout, when I started, I was only going like sometimes once a week. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. It was horrible. And sometimes I was going two days a week and now I go six days a week. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. I rest one day. I've actually, like two weeks ago, I went um, seven days straight and I lost so much weight. Like I, I think I lost like four pounds. So it just depends on you and your schedule. Like me, I'm always free in the mornings so I can work out in the morning. And I do fasted cardio. I do not eat anything before I go to the gym. And I know that's so hard for a lot of people. But trust me, like your body is going to use your stored fat as energy. So that's going to make you lose weight so much faster. Now I work out about two hours. So I do um, an hour of cardio and an hour of lifting. I just started lifting like a month ago. Um, when I started, I was not lifting and I regret not doing that because I probably should have lost, lost so much weight by now. So yeah, that's my weight loss journey. I've lost 30 pounds and I'm going to lose another 30 pounds. So watch out for that. I hope I lose that. I pray and I want to lose that before my birthday. My birthday is on March 7th. So if you see me on Snapchat and I'm not in the gym or I'm not eating healthy or I'm out eating McDonald's, like say something to me, okay? Because I need to lose this weight. ASAP. So yeah, um, follow me on Snapchat, on Instagram, because I post there almost every day. If you want to see what I eat, follow me on those platforms and you can see my life and follow me on this journey. If you're on this journey as well, congratulations, welcome. You know, I really admire people that take this step because trust me, it's the hardest thing to do. It's actually the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. And so... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for all the requests for this video. I really appreciate it and I miss you guys so much. More videos will be coming soon, so stay tuned. If you see me eating trash, let me know and say something mean and shit like that. <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Love